Hello, folks. Oh, I need some good lighting here. Just to make some light. Hi. We have been uh, discussing, Tyler and I have been discussing uh, something that um, is not really that important, but it's just more semantics. But a lot of people use the word vegan or plant-based diet. And what that boils down to is where you are in that journey or how you feel about veganism if you're more in it for like animal rights uh, not wearing a leather belt or for your health or I, in my specific case I'm kind of like 50-50 so I use the words interchangeably what do you talk, what do you, how do you feel? yeah I use the words interchangeably I would say I used to think that animal products were necessary for uh, human health and uh, <laughs> further from the now truth. that I know that they're actually detrimental to human health like, more than pretty much anything that we could do for ourselves um, I've now adopted a vegan plant-based diet and become I guess with the way you described it more and more vegan more and more um, earth conscious I guess and animal I like conscious. that animal conscious earth conscious yeah, um... You want a dead carcass inside your GI tract. No, and I mean, I understand that there are carnivorous animals and animals are going to die, but it's just like, they're so, it's so automated these days, it's just like... Beyond automation, beyond. Yeah, so I guess, um, I sort of found the dietary thing first, and then since then have become more of an animal rights and like a, I don't feel good about animals dying um, especially for food because uh, it's just so unnecessary so yeah that's I wonder if other people are like that you know I wonder if other people have kind of come to the dietary thing I actually have heard a couple people on YouTube say that they came to it out of like the diet for health reasons and then um just buy the diet oh absolutely it's, it's common yeah. yeah like oh my gosh this diet works so well for me and then right. it's like oh wow and uh you know what is it doing to the environment and what is it doing to the animals it's not good because well, that's a whole another video that what it does to, uh, the impact on the planet itself it's just incredible but that's yeah save for another video it's, that's going to be a huge video there and yeah, animals, uh, just because they don't have a prefrontal cortex or are not as highly evolved, doesn't mean that we should use them. And they still sense things, they still sense being taken away from their family and, and things like that. I mean, I think it would be silly to think that they don't actually feel those things just because they can't express them in words like we can't. But, um, I think it helps to get the diet thing because once you understand that it's totally not necessary, then um, it's like, wow, maybe we should just flip this whole thing on its head. But that's I, pretty much I it. like that. But I think, yeah, getting back to what he said, is it is um, it comes full circle the, the two the two the, the two elements. 